Hey everyone, welcome back, where we keep you updated on all the latest gaming news. Today, we're diving into some surprising news about the PS5. Sony's latest console has broken sales records by crossing 59 million units sold, but it still fell short of its ambitious target by over 4 million units. So what went wrong? Let's analyze the factors contributing to this shortfall and what it means for Sony moving forward. First, let's acknowledge the achievement. Selling 59 million units is no small feat. The PS5 has been a massive success since its launch, and despite various challenges, it continues to be one of the most sought-after gaming consoles. The record-breaking sales highlight the strong demand and the popularity of Sony's gaming ecosystem. However, despite these impressive numbers, Sony had set a target of 63 million units sold. Missing this target by over 4 million units raises some important questions. What factors contributed to this shortfall? Let's break it down. One major factor is supply chain issues. Since its launch, the PS5 has been plagued by production and shipping delays, primarily due to the global semiconductor shortage. This has made it difficult for Sony to meet the high demand, leading to shortages in many regions. Even as production ramps up, the lingering effects of these shortages are still being felt. Another significant factor is increased competition. The gaming market is more competitive than ever, with Microsoft's Xbox Series X and S providing strong alternatives. Additionally, the rise of cloud gaming services like Xbox Game Pass and Google Stadia is changing how people access and play games. These shifts in the market have made it harder for Sony to dominate as it did in previous generations. Economic factors also play a role. The global economy has been through a lot of turbulence affecting consumer spending habits. Many potential buyers might be holding off on purchasing a new console due to financial uncertainty. Moreover, the secondary market for PS5s, where consoles are sold at inflated prices, has deterred some consumers from buying. Despite these challenges, Sony is not standing still. They are working on increasing production, securing more supply chain resources, and enhancing their game library to attract more buyers. Upcoming exclusive titles and new features like the PSVR 2 are expected to boost sales in the coming months. So, while missing the sales target is a setback, it's important to view it in context. The PS5 is still performing exceptionally well, and Sony is taking steps to address the issues. Moving forward, we can expect continued efforts to meet demand and strengthen their position in the market. What do you think about this situation? Will Sony bounce back and hit their targets in the next quarter? That's all for today's analysis. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications on all our latest content. And let me know in the comments what do you think is the biggest challenge facing the PS5 right now. Until next time, keep on gaming. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on social media for more updates and join our community for discussions on all things gaming. See you in the next video.